I just got this V-linker from VGate. Thanks for sending me this over and I will show you what it can do. This is ELM327 adapter which you can use for both iOS and Android so it will work on any phone and also it supports multiple OBD2 apps so you can get a lot of functionality. If you use multiple apps you can have app for diagnosing, you can have another app for coding, there are literally hundreds of different OBD2 apps that will work with this adapter. Okay let's connect it to the vehicle, I'm using it for literally first time so we will see how simple it is to connect you need to plug it to your OBD port. You have this power light on, so that means the adapter is receiving power, so connection is successful. At least connection to the vehicle and now pair it with the phone. Let's open car scanner, this is my favorite apps to diagnose, read codes and live data. Now we have to go to settings, choose adapter because I have paired different adapter. We are supposed to press this button to allow pairing, so press it. And now I can see the V-Linker FS, this is our adapter. Pair, yes. Now turn ignition on so scanner can communicate with car. Now I can go ahead and press connect. Connection successful so just like that connection to your car with this adapter is very simple. I used it first time and I didn't have any issues. Now we can go ahead and read fault codes. And as you can see I have three fault codes in this vehicle. PO500, PO340 and PO135. Codes for vehicle speed, oxygen sensor and camshaft position sensor. If I have these codes I should also have check engine light. Let's start the engine. Yes, so I have check engine light. What I can do with this adapter. Let me put my phone down here. I can simply erase these codes. Codes erased and now my check engine light is gone. The V-Linker adapter will also let you read live data from your engine. This is good for diagnosing issues. For example, I have these four graphs in car scanner app. I am looking at short term fuel trim, long term fuel trim. This is fuel correction. So adding or reducing the amount of fuel. I have RPM and timing advance. For timing advance, you don't want to see anything that is in negative numbers. Rise up the RPM. We only see positive numbers. So even though I had a camshaft code, it was only caused by sensor, I think, because the timing doesn't look bad. The fuel trim short term is 0%, which is kind of weird. It should fluctuate a bit, and I have minus 26% long term fuel trim. So I definitely have some issue going on. For negative fuel trim, it is usually caused by issues in your fuel system or maybe clogged air filter, and therefore the fuel amount have to be reduced. Okay, anyway, this car scanner app is awesome. I have full video about it. You can watch it up here, but right now I want to try different app to show you what else you could do with the V-Linker adapter. Now since the adapter works for multiple OBD apps you can use it not only for diagnosing but if you have newer vehicle you can also use it to unlock new features of your car. Let me show you. Plug it inside. Now we are in my Corolla. Let's hook it up to OBD port. Turn on ignition. For coding new features I like to use this Carista app. It already sees my V-Linker, I didn't have to do anything, so just select my adapter, V-Linker. And once we are connected, we can go to this customize, which will pull out all possible customizations for my vehicle. To use ECU coding to unlock new features, it is very recommended to have fast adapter, something like this V-Linker, not like $5 AliExpress adapters. Because if some customization will fail because of lost connection with adapter, you are risking damaging your control modules. We uploaded all possible customizations for my car. I already did everything I wanted to. For example, I use these things and warnings to disable my seatbelt warning. I don't like when my seatbelts are beeping and in this Corolla it is really annoying. I also use it to enable window opening from my key fob. So if I press the key fob, I can open and close my windows. From factory this feature wasn't enabled, so I had to use this Carista app. For my Corolla there are around 13 different categories, each containing from 2 to 10 different settings. So a lot of customizations, how many there will be for your vehicle. Every car is different. Newer vehicle have more customizations. For older vehicle you can barely customize anything. So this feature, this issue coding is used mostly for newer cars. And then if you go to your App Store, Google Play Store or iOS App Store, type ELM327 and you will get a list of literally hundreds of different OBD2 apps and 90% of this app don't require special adapter and they will work with your V-Linker. And now we can also check the adapter speed. I use this app, ELM Scan Validator. Let's connect to our adapter, it is Bluetooth. 
and it will show you adapter speed. So I told you for the customizations you don't want to risk it with slow adapter. V-Linker has 9 millisecond ping. So this is excellent. This is one of the best that you can buy. And we also got version of ELM chip 2.2. So very new version. You will get features for example like slip function. This means I can have literally connected this adapter at all times. Shortly after I turn off my car the adapter will stop draining power. So you don't have to worry about adapter draining your battery. Chip adapter from Aliexpress if you let them plugged in they always drain battery so if you don't drive your car enough you are risking discharging your car battery so I tried this wheeling care with two cars different OBD apps and I literally used it for the first time and I didn't have any issues the adapter is fast as we could see in the app that shows you the adapter speed so you can safely use it even for advanced stuff like ECU coding and you also can use it for any phone doesn't matter if you have Android or iPhone adapter will work and I will put link to buy it in description